What's good, you guys? Cali Green 2 Fresh here, Carnival Spirits, Ninjas in Action, Lost and Found in the Underground. Today, we're going to be talking about Violent J's Sick Kids. So, towards the end of 2015, Violent J, Psychopathic Records, held the Rassel Rap Charity Event. And what this was, was basically JCW with some live performances and all proceeds were going to charity for kids. And um, pretty much JCW doesn't really pull a big draw. Even though we had Violent J solo on this, it was mainly a JCW event. And, you know, Violent J didn't have a full set. Um, just a lot of ninjas didn't come out. And ultimately, J and Psychopathic weren't really happy with the money that they were able to donate. They wanted to donate more money. So what ended up happening was Violent J went on a solo tour, the solo Sick Kids tour. And on this tour, we had... Violent J, being hyped by Young Wicked, Lil Easy, and Nova Rockefeller. Now, this was initially released as an exclusive, but made its way to Hatchet Gear. Um, sick as fuck. You got the track Sick Kids, which was produced by Young Wicked. Sick Kids, the Mikey Clark mix. And then you got a Violent J interview a Young Wicked interview, Lil Easy interview, Nova Rockefeller interview, and then the Sick Kids acapella. Now, I personally like the Mikey Clark mix better than the original Young Wicked, but it is what it is. One of the really cool things about this is the interviews. Um, Violent J's interview, he talks about how the tour came to be and you know, basically what I explained earlier about how the Rassel Rap charity didn't really pull in the money they wanted it to. So they ended up on this tour. In Young Wicked's interview, he talks about his first time being on stage with ICP. I guess he was like 15 years old and, you know, he got up there and threw some bottles of Fago or whatever. And he talks about how his dream was to be on stage and rapping with ICP, so to be hyping him on this tour was a dream. Okay, gotta start out by asking you, how does it feel to be Violent J's hype man on this solo charity tour, raising money for the sick kids? I'll tell you what, brother, it's the shit, and I'll tell you why. When I was younger, all I ever wanted to do was be on stage with ICP. You know what I'm saying? I'd go to the shows. The first time I was ever on stage with Joe and Joey was when I was about 15 or 16. And it was a bizarre, bizarre concert. And uh, I, I got, they called everyone up, but I was front row with the Ogden. So I was one of the first guys up there. And uh, I stood right next to Joe and busted off Fagos. And fuck, however many years later. And uh, I'm about to go out there hyping him up on his first ever solo. Or, well, I guess this is the second ever solo tour. First ever on the West Coast and last of its kind to ever happen from what I'm told. So it's pretty fucking great, brother. Juggalo dream come true. Uh, Lil Easy talks a little bit about um, AIDS awareness and how, you know, he's um, really big on that. You know, being Lil Easy, his dad having died of AIDS, it makes sense. And um, he also talks about an album that was being worked on at the time, which was, um, I believe he said the yellow brick road to Compton is what it was called. I'm going to check that out here in a little bit, but, um, Nova Rockefeller talks about how she was, um, having issues writing for this because she usually does fun tracks and this was more serious. And, um, she talks about how she did a shitty recording and sent it to Violent J, you know, just as a demo, and J ended up loving it and used it. Um, all the interviews, they talk about the tour, 
and what the tour means to them. So that shit's dope. You know, this is a nice little fresh piece of fucking hatchet history. If you don't have it in your collection, you should definitely pick it the fuck up. But um, anyways, I guess that's about it. I'm Cali Green Too Fresh, lost and found in the underground. Always keep it wicked fresh, motherfuckers. Deuces. Whoop whoop. <laughs>